Hello folks, Jonathan Milam here with two mutes. Uh, these are my favorite uh, mutes. I'm on the road about uh, four days a week, and so I'm practicing uh, a lot with mutes. Um, most of the time, it seems like. Um, this has been one that I've carried with me for a few years, and um, Wallace uh, Studio Practice Mute, I think they call this, and they call this one the Wallace Compact practice mute. And uh, I've, I've used these with practice mutes before and I've uh, heartily endorsed them, but I did not mention the fact that when I got this practice mute, it had a layer of, um, oh, I can't find it right now, but it had an extra layer around the edge of it. And, um, it helps fit. In the average trumpet, when it comes from the Wallace place, the mute is too small. And I had one guy that wrote in some time back and said, I'm so disappointed. He said, I got this mute because it was recommended and it doesn't fit my trumpet. Um, with a lot of mutes, especially, I'm not into cork, uh, although I understand you can buy cork rolls and cut it apart and stuff. But Tim went great trumpeter commercial trumpeter around the U.S. and uh, uh, frequent contributor on TrumpetHerald.com. He said buy a bicycle inner tube and just snip off about half an inch, whatever you need, uh, so that it would equal a thickness about like that, and then just use it to place on the end of your mute if you need a larger one. And this Wallace one actually has two pieces of that above the piece that came with it got to say to the Wallace company, how can you put a mute out that does not fit a standard trumpet? Um, that baffles my mind. And then in the compact practice mute, they have such a large thickness here that it plays about half a tone sharp. And um, it's a fantastic mute. It's got a resistor here that you can remove totally or, you know, optionally press it in however you like. How can you have such a wonderful mute that doesn't fit even a four and three quarter trumpet bell? I really do not understand that. Um, as far as the mute itself, I'll play them for you briefly. As I mentioned, this is my choice and uh, we'll start off with that. Okay, well, this is the way it sounds without the mute. what it sounds like with the mute and I'll do it with music later so you can see and then the compact practice mute Now this is one I'd really rather carry on the road because it's so small, but with this foam on, it fits so far out, it's just very sharp. I've thought of scraping this off and then just adding my own mute to see, but I just uh, hate do-it-yourself products because I'm not a crafty guy. But uh, now we'll show you what this sounds like. And the reason I'm gonna play with music in a minute is, someone wrote in, and I think it's a viable comment, they say uh, YouTube alters the tone if it gets too soft. And the question was, can you play this mute in a room if people are sitting around talking and you want to play the trumpet? I've put this mute in and played it while my son and I watched football games, uh, things like that, and it was no bother to him. But, you know, part of it is my son's a nice guy and he has mercy on me. But we'll play it with that music so that the microphone behaves normally and then we'll give you an opportunity to decide. But I wanted to show you what it's like with or without the stem. Uh, a little bit like the Harmon, 
when you pull the stem out. But with the stem in, and then with the stem pulled out, And again, I'm playing about 12 inches from a microphone. I'll turn myself away so you'd get an idea of what would, it would be like in a room. And incidentally, this resistor, it not only alters the tone a little bit, but you can use this resistor to pull it out, push it in all the way, to give you um, a feeling of pressure like you're accustomed to. Without it, it's uh, very easy to play. It doesn't seem to have much back pressure at all to me, but it is, of course, a little louder. So here he is with the resistor in. And with the resistor out. And I think the compact sounds very similar except uh, it's a little bit sharper. Okay, now we're going to play with music, and I'll play, um, and it's not going to be loud enough, but uh, just to fill in the room to give you an idea of what it'd be like with background noise. I'll play without the mute and then with it. Okay, I hope this uh, video is a help to you. And the one other thing I did want to mention, when I bought the inner tube, it was suggested, I think um, Tim had said, buy a mountain bike inner tube because they're extra thick and um, I couldn't find one. But the closest I bought was uh, heavy duty and says 80% thicker, and believe me, it's not too thick at all. So either the heavy duty or, um, as uh, one guy suggested, a mountain bike inner tube, and that is big enough. And I've cut on this uh, several times, replaced several mutes, several Harman mutes. Like I say, I'm just really not into cork that much. Um, it just crumbles again, but this is good. The one thing you do want to make care uh, certain of is on the inside, it's very powdery and you don't want that out. Once you've cut the slice off, you can uh, rinse it off, use soap and water, but you don't want that powder to um, get in the mute or it'll just fall out of your trumpet. So uh, just uh, wash that out, maybe an alcohol swab, something like that. But very easy way to enlarge the Wallace practice mute until you can get it the size that you need it. Of course, they come with an initial, uh, about an inch piece. I have two um, added wraps on above that. I'm trying to get that, not sure if you can see that, but uh, I've got two pieces on it along with that. With that, makes it fantastic. I remember one day I went into a hotel and uh, 
one of my uh, work partners was in a room just on the other side of the wall, middle of the afternoon, probably 1 o'clock, 1.15, completely quiet in the hotel. Uh, we were going to go out to lunch, and uh, she actually said, I've got to make a few phone calls first. And I said, no problem. So I went in. Uh, she's on the other side of the wall in her room. I'm on my side, and I'm practicing this trumpet. Middle of the day, no other sound to cover up. And when we left, uh, we're walking to a restaurant, and I said, uh, did, you, did you hear the trumpet? And she said, what trumpet? And I said, I was practicing my trumpet while you were making phone calls. And she said, I never heard a thing. And I have never, in uh, the years that I've been using this mute, her, anybody in a hotel will hear anything. And it's, um, it's pretty good as far as back pressure, one of the best I've heard for it being as quiet as it is, as small as can be. And if it's a little louder in the evening time, I figure people are watching movies, I'll take the um, resistor piece out and practice a little less back pressure and still have never had a complaint about anything. So I um, hope that helps you. Again, the Wallace Compact Practice Mute and the, I believe they call this the studio practice mute. Very impressed with both of them, with a little help getting them to fit into the trumpet bell. Again, I hope this helps. Comments, feel free. Always a pleasure to touch base with you, and uh, hope this video has been of assistance. If it has, appreciate the thumbs up. Have a great day, and as always, take care.